I've been working on this CNC machine now for what feels like forever and I've been keeping a build log on my CNC UK um, which has been incredibly helpful some amazing people on there uh, helping me to both design this and figure out how to build it um, and I figured it might be useful to make some videos of the progress um, I've made two so far and they were kind of fun so I thought I'd carry on and I kind of wish I'd started a a video log of the progress um, a while back because um, I've now built the frame, built the gantry, um, made a good few of the um, of the aluminium parts towards it um, and mechanically it doesn't feel that far away uh, from being finished um, but I figured better late than never um, I'll make a start on a uh, on a video log. So this is the machine as it stands. It's a three axis um, CNC router, um, or you could call it a mill, I suppose. Um, we'll wait and see whether it actually can mill anything, but it should be pretty tough. It's a steel frame um, made out of uh, box section steel, um, 80 by 80 by three. I probably would have gone with heavier walled stuff if I had my time again. This is aluminium profile um, that forms the gantry and stepper motors driving it. I've got. NEMA 23s providing the power to this axis, which is the Y axis and the Z axis, which will go up and down here. Um, and then the, the big axis, the X axis, that will be driven by this big beast, uh, big NEMA 34, um, and a belt that runs between the two ball screws, which are here. Um, so essentially the screws turn, they then pull the battery backwards and forwards, this screw will turn and we'll pull this axis backwards and forwards um, and then there'll be another screw that turns and, and pulls the, the z-axis um, up and down. This is the z-axis and powered by this motor um, and that will move the cutting tool up and down um, so the machine will be able to go backwards and forwards, left and right and up and down. The frame's all welded together. I did make it in several sections so I could take it apart, um, however um, I've since used um, epoxy to, to level these so that they're perfectly level with each other. Um, so actually taking it apart and rebuilding it would be a bit of a nightmare. So in reality, it's stopping like this. Um, and it's not going anywhere. I mean, it weighs an absolute ton. So here's some early drawings and the ball screws and things once they were bought. Some rubbish drawings, <laughs> some slightly more detailed drawings. Learning to weld, the frame taking shape, the frame exploded load of steel on my garage floor, a big saw to cut it all up, marking it up, more marking it up, what it looked like once it was all sawn up, tapping and making the frame, making the legs, with the adjustable um, bed, plates inside to thicken up the wall, big sheet of metal arriving for welding on, the legs complete, the frame starting to take shape, adjustable feet for the, uh, for the bottom, the bed taking shape, some more serious drawings, starting to make the gantry, fixing the two pieces of profile together, mounting the rails, making a routing jig for making those end plates, starting the process of routing them, this is the first bit of aluminium routing that I did, that's the more or less complete. Band sawing, I think these are the little uh, bottom plates that um, that those gantry ends sit on. Counter boring, working out how the belts are going to work. Starting work on the Z axis. Still need to finish that. This is um, getting set ready to pour the epoxy. So grinding the top of the plates and then making a little bridge that runs across so that the epoxy can level out. Making sure it's all watertight. There's the West system epoxy that I used, pouring it, starting the nightmarish job of getting those rails aligned, uh, a practice at, at pocketing before I started doing it on the, the first aluminium uh, motor mount that I made, there it is more or less finished. And that's about it.